changing standard form to slope intercept form. So slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where the m value is the slope and the b value is the y intercept. So if we're given an equation like y equals 5x plus 2, we can identify the slope as the number in front of the x, the slope would be 5, and the y intercept would be 2. And we're just going to use the sign in front of the number, so plus 2 would be a y-intercept at positive 2, minus 2 would be a y-intercept at negative 2. And quite often we get equations that are not in slope-intercept form. Let's say they're in something like y, like standard form. Our equations are in the form of ax plus by equals c. Then you need to change them into y equals mx plus b. And we do that quite often because it makes it easy to graph. Because if I look at an equation in standard form, ax plus by equals c, I can't simply identify the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the slope, things like that. Or if it's in y equals mx plus b, I can at least look at the number in front of the x, identify the slope, and the number at the end, and identify the y-intercept. So let's say we're given an equation 2x plus 4y equals 8, and we're asked to change the equation to y equals mx plus b. So I would start by subtracting 2x from each side. And when I subtract 2x on this right side, I want to put the minus 2x right after the equal sign because I want to get the x term in the right place right after the equal sign. And on the left side, when I subtract 2x from 2x, the x term goes away from the left side of the equation leaving 4y equals negative 2x plus 8. Now, that gets the y in the right place, the x in the right place, the constant in the right place. The only thing I have left to get it in slope-intercept form is to get rid of this 4 in front of the y. Well, right now, 4 is being multiplied to y, so to undo multiply, I want to do the inverse operation of multiply by 4. I want to divide by 4. And if I divide the left side by 4, I also divide the right side by 4. So 8 divided by 4 goes in evenly two times. Negative 2 divided by 4 doesn't go in evenly, but I'm just going to leave that as a fraction. And 4 divided by 4 is 1y or y. So I get y equals negative 2x over 4 plus 2. And the negative 2 fourths will reduce because they're both divisible by 2. I can divide the top by 2, divide the bottom by 2, and reduce to y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. I don't mind having a fraction here. I actually like having a fraction here because it's my slope number. It's my rise and run anyway. So having a fraction there, not a big deal. It actually helps with graphing. Then I can take my equation, my 2x plus 4y equals 8. I changed it into y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Now it's in a great form for graphing because by looking at the equation, I can identify the y-intercept. What is the y-intercept? Well, it's this number at the end, the b term. It's at positive 2. And on my graph, I can go on the y, the y-intercept. It's going to cross the y at positive 2. So I can put my point for my y-intercept. And what is the slope? Well, if I look at the number in front of the x, I have negative 1 half. And negative 1 half, a rise and run. It doesn't matter if I put the negative with the top number or the bottom number, but not both. So for negative 1 half would be down 1, right 2. So from that y-intercept number, not from the origin, but from the y-intercept, I'm going to go down 1, right 2. And I can go down 1, right 2, down 1, right 2 as many times as I want to graph that line. Then I have a graph of the linear equation, y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. All right, let's look at a new example. Let's say we have 2x plus 3y equals 6. And we want to write that in slope-intercept form. Well, I want to get the x over to the other side. So since it's a positive 2x, I want to go ahead and subtract 2x from each side. 2x is on the left side. I'll cancel and leave 3y. Then I have my x in the right place, the y in the right place, the constant in the right place. I just want to get rid of this 3 in front of the y. And I'm going to get rid of multiplying by 3 with dividing by 3. If I divide the left side by 3, I divide the right side by 3. 3 divided by 3 will give me 1. 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. And negative 2 does not divide evenly by 3, so I'm just going to leave that as a fraction. I'm going to leave that as negative 2 thirds, but I have my y 
and 6 divided by 3 gave me 2. So now I'm in slope-intercept form. I'm in y equals mx plus b with y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Then I could graph that. Just by looking at this equation, I can identify some key parts. I can find the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is this number at the end. It, again, it was positive 2. Just coincidence. So up on the y, up to positive 2, put my beginning point. Then what is the slope? Well, the slope is the number in front of the x. This negative 2 thirds is my slope. So from this point, I can go down 2, write 3. Down 2, write 3, as many times as I have room for. So just a couple times on this one. Connect those, and I have the graph of the linear equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. All right, I think it's time for you guys to try one of these on your own. Take x plus y equals 5, rearrange it in the slope intercept, then identify the y intercept, identify the slope. Pause the video here, come back, and we'll see how you did. All right, welcome back. So if I just, on this one, I can do this in one step. I can just subtract x from the left side, subtract x from the right side. The x is cancel on this side, and I have y. I have the x term in the right spot and the constant in the right place. So in one step, I'm in slope-intercept form. My answer is y equals negative x plus 5. What's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercepts here at the end is positive 5. And what is the slope? The slope is negative 1. Then I could take those key characteristics of the y-intercept and the slope, and I could graph that line. All right, let's try a little harder one. You guys try this one on your own. Take 3x minus y equals 5 and rearrange into slope-intercept form. Then identify the slope, identify the y-intercept. Pause the video here. All right, welcome back. So I got a couple steps I need to do to get this in slope-intercept. I would start with subtract 3x from each side. Then on this side, the x's will cancel out and leave negative y. Notice how when I subtract 3x on the right side, I want to put that right after the equal sign to get the x in the right place. So I have negative y equals negative 3x plus 5. Then to get rid of this negative, this is like a negative 1, ooh, a ghost negative 1. And to get rid of that multiply by negative 1, I can divide through by negative 1. Now dividing by negative 1 will just flip all the signs. I'm going to make this positive, this positive, this positive. <coughs> then I can identify the y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of 3. That's it. You guys have a great day. OUT spells out.